Now the news tonight, other news tonight, excuse me, hot and dry conditions out west becoming worse by the hour. In fact, only adding more fuel to some of the nation's largest wildfires right now. All that smoke sparking air quality alerts from coast to coast all the way east into New York City. And now the bootleg fire has become so intense, it's actually created its own weather system. News Nation's Nancy Liu live for us tonight. And Nancy, that fire literally getting bigger every day. You're absolutely right, Rob. The bootleg fire, as expected, merged with the log fire overnight. It is now 388,000 acres plus. That is an area larger than Los Angeles and Las Vegas combined. And this mega fire is only 30% contained. Oh my God. Near the town of Bly, the Bay family narrowly escaped the flames of the bootleg fire, but the family of five have lost their home and everything in it. Just a complete destruction of everything that, you know, I've owned, people owned, what we built by hand. It's, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking, you know, but, at, you know, at the same time, it's what are we supposed to do? We can't just give up. The bootleg fire has already destroyed more than 160 structures and about 2,000 people have had to evacuate. Smoke and heat from the bootleg fire is so intense it's been creating its own weather system. The energy released from this fire will, will outweigh whatever the weather conditions are. So, so much fuel fuels are burning and that's why you're seeing two, three, maybe even four cumulus um, columns on this fire. Today, Governor Kate Brown called on all Oregonians to be prepared, with last year's historic fire season likely to be topped by this year. It's mid-July, and already nearly 450,000 acres have burned across the state. In California, the Dixie Fire has grown to about 60,000 acres in Butte and Plumas counties. That is not far from Paradise, the community wiped out by the deadly campfire three years ago. With the worst of the season still to come, even more devastation and loss are feared as early victims try to recover. There's only so much we can replace, you know, clothes that was given from grandmothers that was passed down, you know, um, books and photos, baby pictures, letters from friends. Tonight, more than 80 large wildfires are burning in 13 states, largely out here in the West, and they're fueled by severe and extreme drought. Robin Marnie.